What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video I have massive news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12 or iOS 11.4.x jailbreak. The exploit we've been waiting for with Task for PAD0 has finally been released. And not only one, two of them. So I'm going to start with the uh, tweet posted by Brennan Azad. He said, quote, the A12, now with kernel code execution, introducing voucher swap. So he posted this in here, which is pretty much the same vulnerability that he posted a few days ago, and sorry my bad, also posted, but he made this into an exploit and contains the kernel task portal. As you can see, it has been posted today, and it says in here, voucher swap, and it says exploit attached, obtains the kernel task port, and establishes a kernel function calling primitive on the iPhone XS, 10R and the iPhone 8 running 12.1.2. Of course, it's compatible with other devices as well, you just need to add the proper offsets. But just minutes before this has been posted by Brennan Zad, Teamstar posted, quote, didn't plan to release it like this, but I'm now busy with other stuff and probably not gonna come back to this project. TFP0 exploit, which should work up to iOS 11.4.1 on headphone jack devices, didn't finish cleanup, but maybe it's still useful. So yeah, he posted another one that is pretty much called Treadmill, and this one is also a TFP0 exploit, and this allows you to do that on iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 on the devices with a headphone jack, which means KPP devices, so no KTRR, no iPhone 7 or 7 Plus or newer. But yeah, this one here by Brendan Azad should also work on iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 and um, if it doesn't we may be able to adapt it but this one doesn't require you to have the uh, headphone jack device which is pretty much a KPP device. This should work with all of them. So yeah, what is this and why is it important? Well, now that we have TFP0 or the kernel task port, we will be able to create a variety of tools. We cannot first create a nonce setter which would allow us to downgrade with the blobs back to iOS 11.3.1 if you want to. And then of course we have the ability to create a jailbreak but it would still require a bypass for core trust on iOS 12. So yeah, this is not the end game but it's still a very important component component and it finally allows us to do something, it can result in a Houdini-like program and other things that are similar to Houdini and it's very useful to apply various patches. So yeah, definitely things like files are jailed or terminal jailed can be created with this. So as you can see here, there are an awful lot of things we can do with this and we can finally start working towards a jailbreak for the iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 of course and 12.1 all the way down to iOS 11.4.1. However, if you're running iOS 12.1.3, please do downgrade now. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Huge news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. Finally, what we've been waiting for for months has been released thanks to Brandon Azad of Google Project Zero and team start. So yeah, I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.